potatoes. Nowadays, there are about 5,000 potato varieties, and many are cultivated worldwide. That's a lot of varieties compared to only five potato types found in our local grocery store here in California. And most stores have only three types on average, red, golden, and russet potatoes. The wild potato species can be found only in the Americas, from the United States to southern Chile. Genetic testing of cultivars and wild species traced all potatoes to a single place of origin, the Andes of present-day southern Peru and extreme northwestern Bolivia. To this day, 3,000 potato cultivars are found in that region, mainly in Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Chile, and Colombia, where over 100 cultivars might be found in a single valley, and a dozen or more might be maintained by a single agricultural household. There, in the highlands of the Andes, the first domesticated potato varieties might have been bred as early as 10,000 years ago. Potatoes were a staple of food for the Inca civilization in mid-16th century, when conquistadors started bringing the tubers to Spain along with the Inca's gold and silver. At the beginning, potatoes were grown by royalty as exotic flowering plants and were considered poisonous to eat. The English word potato comes from Spanish patata, a hybrid of the Taino, one of the Caribbean languages, word batata for a sweet potato, and the original Quechua name for the potato, papa. At that time, sweet potatoes and potatoes were erroneously thought to be the same plant. Over the following 200 years, potatoes were spread gradually throughout Europe, enhancing the lower-class diet of oats, barley, turnips, and rutabaga. In France and Germany, government officials and noble landowners promoted the conversion of fallow land into potato fields after 1750. Sir Walter Riley's employee Thomas Harriet is commonly credited with introducing potatoes into England and Ireland in the late 1580s. Although potatoes had become widely familiar in Russia by 1800, they were confined to garden plots until the grain failure in 1838-39 persuaded peasants and landlords to devote their fields to rising potatoes. Potatoes yielded two to four times more calories per acre than grain did and tended to become more popular in wartime due to their being able to be stored in the ground, hidden from marauders and confiscations. Eventually, they came to dominate the food supply in Europe. Potatoes were slow to be adopted by European farmers initially, but by the 19th century, the potato became an important food staple and a field crop that played a major role in the rapid growth of the European population. According to some estimates, the introduction of the potato was responsible for a quarter of the growth of the old world population and urbanization between 1700 and 1900. Initially, very few varieties were introduced and spread throughout Europe. Potato monocrops, lacking genetic diversity, were vulnerable to disease. In 1845-1849, a fungus known as late blight spread rapidly throughout the potato fields in the poorer communities of Western Ireland and parts of the Scottish Highlands, killing the crops and bringing the Great Irish Famine when about one million people died and a million more emigrated from Ireland. Since then, the problem was corrected by bringing in more genetic material from the Americas. 
developing more disease-resistant varieties, and then introducing new pesticides and fungicides to agriculture. Now, with all available chemicals to keep the tubers intact, the industry can practice monocropping again. Okay, back to the history. Potatoes entered Africa with colonists. Shipping records from 1567 show that the first place potatoes were grown outside of Central and South America were the Canary Islands. As in other continents, despite its advantages as an anti-famine, high elevation alternative to grain, potatoes were first resisted by African farmers who believed they were poisonous. While European colonists promoted them as a low-cost food, they were also a symbol of domination. Only by the mid-20th century and in present-day Africa, potatoes have become a common vegetable and a core staple crop. On the contrary, in China, potatoes immediately became a delicacy of the imperial family in the 1600s. During a population increase and the subsequent need to increase production of food in 1735-1796, potato cultivation spread rapidly throughout China and was acclaimed to local natural conditions. In India, British colonists brought potatoes with them. The first record that mentioned potatoes being served at a court reception for the British ambassador was made in 1675. The Portuguese introduced potatoes to India as a crop in the early 17th century, when they cultivated them along the western coast. Potatoes were brought to Australia by the British settlers in the late 18th and early 19th century. Early North American colonists in Virginia and the Carolinas may have grown potatoes from seeds or tubers that arrived in Spanish ships, but the earliest record of U.S. potato crop was in Londonderry, New Hampshire, in 1719. The tubers were from Ireland and became known as Irish potatoes. Potatoes were planted in Idaho as early as 1838. By 1900s, the state production exceeded a million bushels, which is about 27,000 tons. To this day, potatoes remain the top vegetable crop in the United States. They are grown commercially in 30 states, but Idaho grows more potatoes than any other state, followed by Washington, North Dakota, Wisconsin, and Colorado. Until the early 1990s, most potatoes were grown and consumed in Europe, North America, and countries of the former Soviet Union. Since then, there has been a dramatic increase in potato production and demand in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, where output rose from less than 30 million tons in the early 1960s to more than 165 million tons in 2007. In 2005, for the first time, the developing world's potato production exceeded that of the developed world. China is now the biggest potato producer, and almost a third of all potatoes is harvested in China and India, followed by Russian Federation, Ukraine, and then the U.S. I hope you enjoyed learning all these curious facts about the food you eat so often. If so, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for free to see more videos about foods you eat and hopefully grow in your garden and other plants you encounter on your walks in nature.